So there's two different technologies uh, that we have, are testing out. One of them is accelerometry. So this is a device that measures motions of your body. So you put the accelerometer on an animal, on any anybody. Actually, there's an accelerometer in everybody's smartphone. Uh, so we put one of these little accelerometers uh, on an Arduino board, which the William & Mary undergrads have designed and built themselves. We then attach that to the dorsal fin of a shark and have the shark go back into the water and swim around. And that is going to tell us about the very detailed behaviors of the shark. So that other technology is the measurement of heart rate. This is actually a technology that has been pretty recently developed uh, and has been demonstrated in bony fishes but not yet in sharks. It's a little tag that has electrodes on it, so kind of like the electrodes you use in your sports band around your chest. But these are on the outside of a little tag and we, we surgically implant that tag inside the body of the shark. Measuring heart rate in sharks is more difficult than in bony fishes because the shark heart has a cartilage box around it and that blocks the electrical signals. The bony fish has a membrane around its heart which is very flexible. There's also a difference in the configuration of all the organs and the shapes of the interior of the animal that make it more difficult in the shark. Uh, so a lot of the work that we're doing is trying to keep that tag in exactly the right position inside of the animal. I have my finger on the other side of the membrane from the heart right now and I'm feeling the heartbeat with my finger. And so where my, where my finger is right now is where we want the tag to end up. One of the things that would be really exciting, uh, and we're not there yet, but what we would like to do is have the accelerometer tag and have that on the animal measuring its motions, have the heart rate tag measuring its heart rate, uh, and from that we would be able to say, okay, so during this period of time we can tell it was swimming around like crazy, zooming this way and that. One of the things that's very poorly understood is how often these animals eat. So if we can demonstrate in captivity that after we feed a shark, its heart rate goes up, for the duration of time it takes to digest that meal. Then when we have that months long record of a wild shark, and we have the heart rate, we might be able to understand, okay, this thing eats once a week, or this thing eats three times a day. So on the ultrasound I can actually see the tag pretty clearly right next to the heart. Uh, 